If you want to know the secrets to happiness, ask an optimist. They will tell you to see the glass as half full and to look at the sunny side of everything. Having optimism can often be challenging, especially after the year we've just been through, but there is a worldwide club dedicated to doing just that. Optimist International is a volunteer organization that's been working to make communities better for more than 100 years. Mark Weinsoff is the president of the group. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Hi, Mark. Nice to be here. So, Mark, I was looking at some of the tangible things that we can do to increase our happiness, and the, uh, one of the first that I saw here is positive intent, and that involves just rolling out of bed. Can you, can you yes. explain a little bit more about that? Exactly. That's what I do every morning because uh, it's better than a cup of coffee. Coffee. When you uh, are laying in bed after that alarm goes off, if you take a moment to just think, what am I going to do to make this world a better place when I get out of bed? It puts a hop in your step and, and uh, makes you get out with purpose that allows you to go forward with uh, joy and gratitude. That sounds uh, really positive for about a day, but I would imagine that it would be draining to try and constantly do this. Do you find it draining and what's the trick to keep it going? Well, you're on the right track. It's not draining, but it is something you have to repeat every day. Uh, we have to remind ourselves of what we're grateful for, even in difficult times. And then we have to remind ourselves that we have the power to make positive change and that's the difference between an optimist and a pessimist. Uh, a pessimist, when they're confronted with obstacles, gives up. They don't feel like they have the uh, power to make it, things better. The optimist knows that they do have that power, and that gives us energy to go forward and do, uh, continue to do the work. So while we're grateful for the glass being half full, we know we can fill that glass up with our uh, positive intent and do uh, the things to overcome the obstacles we face in life. Mark, a lot of people have hit obstacles throughout this past year, um, certain things that maybe can't be overcome. Uh, so how do you approach something that you know is going to be extremely difficult and that you might not be able to change? Yes, well, the key there is to know that everything uh, changes over time and even the most difficult circumstances will at some point um, be resolved or, or will go forward in a more positive way. And so knowing that better times are ahead gives us the willpower and the way power to try different things to overcome those obstacles. The pandemic was certainly a challenge for all of us and optimists have found ways to even contribute in their communities even when they were not able to go out and do some of the hands-on things that we used to do. So while it does seem like a challenge, it's impossible to overcome, we found ways to go out and do things uh, in the community without uh, or maintaining the social distance and things that were required during the pandemic. I would imagine uh, the science says being optimistic is, is healthier. Is that true? What, what insight can you give us on that? That's the best thing of all. Uh, science has certainly proven, and the, this is uh, over many years of, of research, that optimists live happier, healthier, more successful lives. And part of that, part of the benefits is surrounding yourselves with positive people. So even while, and, and going back to your earlier question about maintaining that positive energy, while we individually might have those situations where we can't overcome that, by surrounding ourselves with positive people like we do in our optimist clubs, uh, you feed off of each other and that positive energy grows. In fact, optimism is contagious. And when we share that with other people, it ripples out into the community. So we can make the world a better place by, just by sharing optimism with each other, making ourselves feel better. And then each in turn goes out and shares that optimism with uh, a fellow uh, person. Just when you're walking down the street, if you smile at somebody, uh, they will smile back. And then the next person they see will also share that smile. So this is a tip I've heard before that at the end of the day, if you've had a, a hard day, there has to be at least one good thing that has happened to you, but you're pointing out that you probably find at least three things. Yes, so that's an excellent thing to do at the end of the day is to keep a gratitude journal. If you at the end of the day can think of three things to be grateful for that happened for you that day and choose different things every day, you will find yourself over time, and science has proven this as well, if you do this for 30 days, your happiness level will increase because your mind will start as you go through the day looking for those positive things uh, that you can put in your gratitude journal at the end of the day. So the more you look for positive things, the more you will see the positive things and avoid uh, the negative that you come across in your daily activities. Well, Mark, thank you for joining us. Uh, you can uh, get more information at optimist.org or follow them on Twitter at optimist.org. Uh, thank you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.